this the course objective is it is it is a comprehensive prelims cum means coaching why we have uh, we have took prelims cum means coaching that that i will discuss in a while so this is a comprehensive coaching for both your prelims as well as your mains examinations for to take up civil service examination so this is designed by experts we have consulted many experts in this field who have already cleared the examinations and who are in services as well as the uh, experts who are over taking classes for the civil service examination so so this okay this uh, this we will cover both prelims and mains uh, coaching in an online program so that it will it will be helpful for you to clear both prelims as well as mains examination so this is designed for both uh, newcomers as well as for repeating aspirant see uh, aspirants who are, who are who are already given attempts you can also take this course because this course is designed such a way that uh, new aspirants as well as benefit uh, will be benefited as well as repeating aspirants repeating aspirants what we have uh, done something wrong that might be a loss for your uh, loss uh, lead to loss in your attempts so this is this we have designed in such a way that you no need to worry about your uh, previous attempts that means whatever your mistakes you have done in your previous attempts that will be rectified in our course okay this is also a one of the feature of our uh, ioc course okay so this is mainly we have to we have to give you a right foundation so that whatever is the demand that will be uh, that that will be that will given to you so that you can clear the examination without any uh, fear okay so this is the main objective what are the features of this course means that we have uh, we have planned for both prelims cum mains so that uh, first we will cover the uh, prelims syllabus that is paper 1 general studies and paper 2 cc in paper 1 general studies we will cover the syllabus syllabus in a prelims cum mains uh, strategy why prelims cum mains strategy means because uh, whatever you are studying in prelims general studies that will be overlapping with your main syllabus okay so whatever you are preparing for prelims that will be overlap with your main syllabus for example in geography if you take geography if you take geography you will read about earth okay you will read about earth you will read about in that earth you will read about climatology 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 okay so in climatology you will have questions both in prelims as well as mains okay you will have questions from both prelims as well as mains that means in prelims you will be tested your uh, your uh, objective knowledge like that or your conceptual knowledge will be tested in the preliminary examination whereas in mains examination the your descriptive knowledge or your opinion based knowledge or your answer writing skill will be tested so that when you are when you are reading climatology you should have a knowledge both on how to approach it as in a prelims point of view as well as in mains point of view this is called as prelims cum mains uh, strategy they will call it as prelims cum prelims cum mains uh, approach so i will give you an example for example you know that india india is a monsoon india is a monsoon type of climate in india we have monsoon type of climate that means we have two type of rainfall one is southwest and northeast rainfall in india we have both two types of rainfall one is southwest in june you have a southwest rainfall this will eat like this okay and then uh, and then in uh, in november december you have a northeast rainfall where mostly tamil nadu will get rainfall in this uh, in this type of monsoon okay we have monsoon type of rainfall on this we have two uh, two branches one is southwest and northeast rainfall so this they will ask what is the uh, what is mean by no monsoon how it is created it is created uh, because of the effects in the indian ocean so how it is uh, why it is giving more rainfall in this region because it is because of western ghats and then uh, and then why uh, rajasthan is not getting rainfall because the presence of uh, aravalli range the aravalli range divides this uh, monsoon uh, towards the central india it will not uh, go beyond the aravalli range so only the regions here desert regions will be more of a uh, uh, arid region why because this is because of the physiological features in the uh, indian uh, subcontinent okay so this is called as prelims point of view in mains point of view what they will ask means they will ask a question the question will be india is a discuss they will ask discuss indian economy is totally indian economy depends depends upon monsoon discuss indian economy depends upon monsoon for example this is a very simple question you have to discuss that indian economy depends upon monsoon how you have to discuss 
this this will not be they will not be asking you to to explain the concepts and all what they are asking they are asking you to discuss how indian economy depends upon monsoon for this we will answer the answer uh, uh, this right okay so this is the question so what is the question discuss how indian economy depends on monsoon rain monsoon okay so this uh, they have asked they have asked a question in mains this is a mains question so this you, are, you cannot apply uh, for example you cannot say that uh, for this question uh, you cannot say that uh, india we have two types of monsoon that is one is southeast monsoon and then, then the next is northeast monsoon this and all you, you should not write and we have aravalli range which diverts the uh, wind towards the central india if you write this and all means this is also more of conceptual and this is already checked in your prelims examination so that if you write this this uh, this answer for this question it is totally irrelevant so that you will get only a nil mark that means you will not be awarded any mark what you have to write for this means you have to discuss how indian economy depends upon monsoon so i will give an example for example in june month in june month we are getting monsoon rainfall if there is more monsoon monsoon rainfall that means adequate monsoon rainfall means what will happen what will happen adequate monsoon rainfall means agriculture production will be more so if agriculture production will be more means what will that income will be more so income uh, farmers will get income and if income is more farmers income will be more uh, uh, obviously you will have less inflation less inflation that means if production is more means there will be a enough uh, enough production for the demand that means inflation will be under control under control if inflation is under control means government can give more credit for example rbi will give more credit that means if there is more inflation means rbi will increase the interest rate if there is less inflation means what rbi do rbi will reduce the interest rate that means you will get more loans so if rbi is giving more loans at a lower interest rate means what happen what happen industrial will growth will occur industrial growth will occur industry will grow if industry is growing that means industry is getting more loan means they will create jobs am i right or wrong if more jobs is created people will be happy so this is called as discuss we are discussing see indian economy i have discussed indian economy i have discussed about industrial thing i have discussed about rbi i have discussed about inflation i discussed the income of the people and agriculture production so this this is called as main approach that means the same monsoon we are not discussing the conceptual thing but we have discussed something else that is called as uh, main approach so this is called as prelims ka main approach the same question you can take it in the other way also this is a positive way that means i have take it as an optimistic way that means if there is a enough monsoon means it will occur if there is no enough monsoon that means there is a inadequate monsoon inadequate means mean monsoon means what are the effects that will take see that we will that we will see so the same question what are the effects if there is a inadequate monsoon so june month we are getting inadequate monsoon so inadequate monsoon so what are the effects if there is no monsoon that is failure of monsoon mean what happens agriculture production agriculture production will be will come down if agriculture production come down means the demand will be increasing so the demand will be same that means people 1 1.3 uh, 3 billion people means we have the same demand but agriculture production is not up to the mark to meet the demand that means what happen inflation will occur inflation will occur inflation will boom because there is less uh, less production but more demand so inflation will be there if inflation is there government have to import government will import agriculture products from other countries if it if it if it uh, if it imports agriculture products from other countries means our foreign exchange reserves that means our reserves foreign exchange reserves will come down am i right or wrong as foreign exchange reserves will come down because we are getting more products agriculture products from the other countries that means we are importing more means our foreign exchange reserves will come down and obviously this will leads to our deficit deficit in our economy because a deficit in economy obviously leads to our uh, exchange rate that means the value of money will get down because 
our money is not having a demand but we are creating demand for other economy money so demand will be reduced our fiscal deficit will be this there will be a deficit in there will be a fiscal deficit so this leads to bring a burden on the indian uh, indian economy like that the government have to borrow it will borrow it will do external borrowings so it will go to the imf and it will imf or other international institution to get money to meet the to meet the uh, fiscal deficit so this will increase the burden on the indian economy obviously our social sector spending for example uh, like spending for the education health will social sector spending will come down so this will lead to a decrease in social sector spending see this is a negative thing that means i have taken the other end for uh, in, the, in the before slide we see we what we saw is uh, if there is a enough enough monsoon if there is no enough monsoon means these things will occur see so the total indian economy depends upon monsoon this is called as mains approach i hope you have got the point this is called as prelims come mains approach you will read something which is uh, specific to prelims as well as you read the same topic how you have to approach for the mains so this will help you to clear both prelims and mains examination in comprehensive way so if you prepare for example if you prepare only for mains means obviously prelims is not going to be taken for your merit list the only thing we will be taken for your merit list is mains plus interview so you have to score very good in your in, uh, in your mains examination so if you score very good in mains examination means obviously your rank will be uh, will be boosted you will get good ranks as well as you will be in the list okay so this is called as uh, so this is called as prelims comings approach so we have planned it as a prelims comings approach okay so uh, for example modern india also we will cover whatever the topics that are overlapping with the gs with the mains that will be covered in a prelims ka mains approach okay so then after that we will cover the uh, subjects which are specific to gender studies paper 1 for example in gender studies paper 1 in mains you have world history that will not be covered in the, the prelims paper 1 that we will cover in the world history section in gender studies paper 1 and gender studies paper 2 paper 3 and paper 4 paper 4 is exclusively ethics integrity and aptitude so for this also we will cover exclusively uh, in the mains approach this is this 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 subject these subjects you don't need to have a prelims ka mains approach because ethics you will read only in the uh, mains that means this paper will be in your mains only so that it does not need a prelims ka mains approach rather it needs a mains approach okay so so we will have a mains answer rating practice which will be given for the topics and subjects in the general studies okay for this mains answer rating practice after you written the answers we will evaluate it we will evaluate we will give comments and will give a feedback so how your answer should be what are the things you should improve improve that we will give so this is this all thing will be done in the online mode so you you will write your answers and you will you will post it in the platform so that we the evaluator will evaluate and give comments so this is a Uh, this is a uh, this is a two way approach okay so then we will give a model answers for the mains answer rating we will give a model answers with video explanation so we will give a model explanation so uh, the tutor will say that how you have to write this questions how you have to claim this answer okay so main mcq based test will also be conducted with a live discussion every week we will have a mcq based question this is to uh, target for the prelims 2021 so you will have a mcq based test after that followed by a live discussion so every test after you attend every test don't miss this live session because this is very 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 important you you are taking the test and you are not attending the live discussion mean that is of no use because writing the test and discussing it more will enrich your knowledge and it will clear your concept so that so that only we are we are going to have a live discussion also so this all will be in your zoom platform and an e class ioa platform okay so we will have a daily discussion via chat option this is a, this is a thing we will do what we will do means for example if you are if you are having if you are having a history class today if you are having history class means uh, the class will be in the morning session that is between 9 to 11 you have two sessions in the afternoon or in the evening you will have a live discussion with the tutor so channel is who will discuss with you on the topics which was which was taught in the morning session that means you will have a two way uh, two way interaction that means you will ask question in the live chat option that will be answered by the 
research analyst or the tutor so this is a daily discussion you'll have a daily discussion on the topics that are covered in the uh, morning session in the live uh, uh, live hours okay so in total both prelims and mains we are we are going to cover 600 plus live hours so this is a very very uh, comprehensive way so that you will you we will cover all the syllabus uh, in a comprehensive manner uh, before you take you take up your uh, uh, 2021 prelims examination so this this is a two or 600 hours will be in live hours which includes which includes which does not includes this uh, test discussion at all this only 600 live hours is only a class discussion that means live classes will be 600 hours apart from this you have a discussion test discussion that is not included in this 600 hours okay so next so next as i told this is a live discussion so it's a two way communication so that session will be between morning 9 to 1 pm you have two sessions the first session will starts on 9 am first session starts on 9 am until 11 am after that you will have a break a small break after that you will have a session too that will start between 11 15 to 11 30 so after that 11 15 to 11 30 it will start and it will end between 1 1 15 or Sometimes if, the, uh, if there is more questions, it will go beyond also. So uh, this is the two session we will have every day. You will have two sessions. Afternoon, you will not have any sessions that will be given for you to prepare for the weekly test. Every week, every day, you have to attend the session and you have to prepare uh, the subjects, prepare the subjects which are taught in that, in that session so that you can take the weekly test. So you utilize the, utilize the afternoon session for your preparation. Okay. So next. We'll have weekly test, as I told, in weekly test, every year, every week, you'll have a weekly test. The test will be of um, uh, objective type. In that objective type, uh, we will we'll have a question of 50 questions like that. These 50 questions will come from the topics that are taught in the that particular week. For example, if you are having, uh, for example, in Monday to Friday, you, if you are class, what are the subjects that are uh, that are being taken in this period, that fits from Monday to Friday? What are the topics? That are taken in the class that live classes that it will be your syllabus for the your weekly test so you'll have objective type test after the test you'll you will take the test for one hour means immediately after uh, after the test you will have a live discussion where uh, we will discuss the each questions with the solution with an explanation okay then there you can chat with the research analyst or the tutor to discuss your um, uh, discuss your doubts and how to approach this question that will be uh, that will be uh, uh, that will be given to you. So this is very very important, and for every test, don't uh, miss the live discussion. This is very very important. Even if you if you don't study well in your uh, for your test means at least attend this live discussion. This is like boosting. This is like uh, refreshing all your concepts which are taught in the last one week that will be taken in this live discussion. So this is like a uh, revision class. This live discussion will be very comprehensive so that every concept will be approached in a question pattern so that is very 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 important because whatever you are taking in your live classes that is like taking a concept as such but if you take it in a question manner because it is like a demand of the exam this will be like a demand of the exam so this is very very important don't miss this live session okay then then we also plan to give you mains descriptive type questions that will be in twice in a month so every twice in a month that means every after two weeks we will have a mains answer rating practice test so for that, you will write the test, you will upload your answers in the portal, and then it will be evaluated by the tutor or the research analyst. For that also, we will give you a model answer with video explanation. And then we also plan for a monthly test. Why this is important means, whatever reading, for example, in week test one, you will read some topic, week test two, week test three, week test four. But when you take, when you come again to week test one, you might be, for you might forgotten something. So this is, this is this is uh, this this is nature because we are human beings, so we will forget the things which we have written uh, two or three weeks before. So that only we we have arranged for a revision test. What this revision test means? It will be a monthly test, so that what are the things that are taught in the last four weeks? That is within that month. That will be in the revision test. It will be of 100, 100 uh, MCQ type, so that it will be a it will be a revision test, so that you can revise the topics which are taken in the last. Uh, four weeks or in that month so for to crack prelims examination the only mantra is revision so you have to revise 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 you re, uh, that is a famous slogan that is called as we, we what uh, civil service aspirants do means they will say for the civil service aspirants is 
read one book read one book for 10 times this is this you can keep it uh, this is the only mantra that will take you to uh, clear the uh, civil service examination read one book for 10 times rather than reading 10 book 10 books for one time so read one book for 10 times this is very very important so you no need to have a vast uh, so resources minimize your resources resources but learn it for multiple times so this is the success mantra where you can follow to clear uh, prelims and mains examination so then then next is our timeline this is the timeline of our course we'll have we'll start the session uh, we'll start the course uh, we have started the course in september first week it will go uh, prelims come mains approach it will go up to january we will end the course uh, that is prelims come mains approach will be ended in january after that from february to april we will have a main subjects okay that is gs 1 2 3 and 4 what are the subjects that are not covered in the prelims come mains approach that will be covered in the uh, between the period between february to april Okay, so this is the uh, this is the timeline. After that, for May and June exclusively, it will be dedicated for your prelims test series. We will have an exclusive prelims test series that which will cover both subject wise as well as uh, full test, full test that is mock test. So you will have a mock test with this subject wise and then uh, full full uh, mock test. So this is the timeline. The course begins in April, uh, sorry, at September, and we will have a phase two that is only mains and phase three is exclusively prelims test series. In the February examination, February to April mains approach, uh, we will also uh, cover the uh, syllabus of prelims. That means if you if you if you if you are taking only mains, you will forget the prelims concepts. So only what we have what we will do means we will have test. We will give more importance to mains subjects as well as we will keep you in touch with the prelims subject also. That means MCQ test MCQ test will be always will be there. So in the main uh, main space also, so that is phase two. Phase two is a main space, but you will have a prelims questions. That is MCQ questions test in this phase also. Why? Because you should not uh, you should not you should have a touch on the uh, prelims because uh, uh, soon after completing this phase, you will enter into the prelims test series. So minimum level we will have a questions from prelims point of also. So then next these are the syllabus. We, uh, these are the subjects we are going to cover for the. Mm, for the preliminary examination that is a uh, preliminary subject syllabus so all the subjects like uh, quality economy history uh, art and culture basic science current affairs and then the paper to uh, csat all subjects will be covered uh, in within this uh, before jan jan 2021 okay then after jan 2021 february we will go for uh, we will go for the main syllabus exclusively main syllabus that is Society is in the world history, you will cover in uh, gender studies paper one, post India consultation. That is, in prelims, you will not read about post India consultation. That means you will not read about what happened after independence. So, that will be covered in the gender studies paper one, post India consultation, that is after independence. Okay. So, this will cover in the gender studies paper one. Then, next is governance, international relation. So, next paper three, agriculture, science and technology, disaster management, internal security, and ethics paper. For optional, optional we will we will have a one optional based on the popular demand, popular demand of the aspirants. So if more aspirants are opting for one particular option, we will try to arrange that option, option paper. So these are the academic activities. This is not only we conduct we conduct only live classes and uh, test. We have other academic activities. What are the academic activities? Other academic activities. We will have a current affairs quiz. So this is like uh, every week you will have a twice in a week you will have a current affairs quiz so that whatever you are whatever you are read in that particular week that will be asked as a MCQ type thing so that you can revise your current affairs uh, what are that what that was in use in the last uh, one week but within that one particular week you will have a two current affairs quiz that will cover the current affairs then next mains answer rating practice you will be given a mains answer rating practice in the portal that means. We will post the question, for example, we will post the question, discuss uh, status of Indian economy or like that. We will post the question. For this, aspirants will write their answers like a comment section, what we have to do in your uh, Facebook chat like that. Now. So we will we will post your questions, answers like in comment section so that many aspirants are taking part in this sessions. You will have an exchange of ideas. You will, the same questions, many aspirants will give you, uh, will give the answers so that it will be exchange of ideas. This also we will do. For this, we will give a model answer also. So 
model answer we will post at the uh, next day in the or the end of that day okay then we will have a weekly test with live discussion as i discussed before then we have a csat quiz csat quiz see many aspirants fail to clear paper 2 because they will they will have a over confidence because paper 2 is a qualifying in nature qualifying in nature that means it is enough if you if you get only 33 percentage of marks but many aspirants fail to qualify it because they take it in a lighter way they will prepare it at the end of the uh, course that means before the one month before taking prelims examination they start preparing for csat but that uh, that will not work because csat is of more of a conceptual and you have to have a uh, good touch with that so that to keep you in touch we will have a csat quiz every uh, twice in a week so this also this will also help you in tracking other competitive examination for example if whatever competitive examination you are taking you will have definitely you will have aptitude you will have reasoning and then you will have english that means uh, english uh, language like basic english language for legal reading comprehension vocabulary and then grammatical part so csat you keep a constant touch in csat so that while preparing for civil service examination itself you can able to clear other competitive examination we have made a video on this uh, in our youtube channel you can go and check a video we have made a video or like how for preparing for upsc civil service examination in a prelims come mains approach will be helpful in cracking other competitive examination you can watch this video which was in our youtube channel go and watch this video so that you will feel the importance of csat also okay so then we have a mentoring session we have a we have a top notching mentors who are retired so retired uh, uh, civil service civil servants so they will they will mentor you how to take this examination like that so next we have monthly revision test and then you have essay question practice in gs uh, in mains you have a one paper called as essay paper so if you have a very good uh, touch in essay you can easily clear you uh, see you can gain more mar more marks in this essay paper for this we have planned to give a essay practice question test that means for essay you no need to take it as a session there is no syllabus for essay whatever you are reading in your general studies or in a paper 1 2 3 4 that will be useful in writing your essay but that is a specific approach to write an essay so that will be taught in a, some sessions as well as we will give you a practice session so that you will have a good touch in writing essays also so this is the uh, this is our academic activities which we have planned for throughout this year okay so then after uh, january we will have a uh, entrance test this is for to take aspirants for our residential coaching at chennai okay so after february uh, so after january at the end of the january or in the starting of february we will have a residential coaching uh, entrance examination if you if you have cleared this examination you will be you will have a residential coaching at chennai at class ias academy so this is for your next uh, year preparation Okay, you'll have a one year of uh, residential coaching at class. So, if you have any other queries, I can take. You can ask it in the chat box. I will take those questions. about optionals samil khan is samil khan is asking about optionals samil khan we will give you optional one optional based on the popular demand we will have a survey uh, we will check what are the what, what is the optional that is um, based on the popular demand we will give it daily current affairs there or not intia sagamar daily current it will, it will be up twice in a week that means uh, uh, the current affairs will give you questions based on that based on the uh, news is on that week twice in a week not every day twice in a week classes will be siraj tofi classes will be of five days yes five days and the sixth day you will have a uh, you will have a test weekly test sir what facility for girls residential girls residential as of now there is no uh, facility for girls to uh, for residential coaching but if possible management will arrange for a girls residential coaching they will let you know in the month of january or before it imtia sakma uh jaina buffering residential coaching is also for women as uh, jaina buffering as i told before there is no residential coaching facility in e class as of now but management will let you know if there is any facility they are arranging in future so is this session recorded on the website yes this is recorded session you can watch in the portal itself no on uh, the ioa portal you can watch it later will both the session be of same subject no 
as if bono the both subject not the same subject one if you have a first session is of history means second session uh, second session will be uh, current affairs or like that only two will be a different session are we going to have negative marks this time yes umar is one we are going to have negative marking because in upsc you have negative marking in foundation course we don't have negative marking but in iosce you will have a negative marking it will be the pattern will be similar to upsc standard okay is relationship coaching for girls also roshini shake i have answered this question sir will the session be recorded in case if he miss live as live classes faizan khan yes every session will be recorded and will be available in the portal you can watch it for any number of times uh, so that uh, if you miss the this the any live classes means you no need to worry about it will there be time table for taking subjects or random subjects uh, mohammed ali khan uh, we will upload the schedule of, of every week uh, uh, every week so that you can have a plan so we will upload the uh, schedule for every week sir i have one doubt whether the books for this subjects like ncert or others will be provided by cross or we need to buy by ourselves afsana nashir uh, we will not provide any books ncert books ncert books you have to buy it for your own because that will not be covered in our course we will provide some uh, whatever we are providing that is only soft copy we will provide we will upload some uh, some study materials which is not uh, not in the available in the market means that time we will provide and that too we will provide only in soft copy we will not provide any books or uh, uh, study materials as, as as like in hard copy will we get a weekly plan yes asid bonu we will we will get a weekly plan or weekly schedule on the uh, every week for every week will residential coaching be a continuous of the ongoing courses or will be a fresh start for one year mohammed masoor razak uh see after january what we have planned is after january this uh, this you should keep it mind after january uh, we will have a residential coaching but this residential coaching uh, is not a uh, fresh one see after january after january uh, we will have a two phase that means people who are in online they will continue in online some people who are in online will be brought to the offline and the course will, will uh, the course will continue as such people who are learning in online they will uh, uh, people who are learning online as well as offline you learn the same same syllabus same coaching same faculty nothing is going to be different only thing is people who are in online will continue in online people who wish to come for offline they will be in offline classes that is the only difference otherwise the course is same for both online and offline aspects when will the classes starts the classes will start from wednesday onwards tomorrow there is no class from wednesday on this you will have a uh, regular sessions as per we have discussed uh, sir what about the study materials shania i told uh, the study about study materials the study materials will be provided for the thing that is not available in the market see don't depend more on study material see your study material should be the ncert this is basic this is your basic study material after that you look for your standard books standard books and then newspaper newspaper is a bible for uh, preparing for new phases of sex examination then magazines the magazines like yojana kurukshetra or any compilation given by any standard uh, uh, standard institute so this is this is your this should be your study material apart from this you can take your notes so this is the study material don't depend for example uh, don't depend on any study material uh, any coaching study material to gain the extract of nature b the read ncert as such this is very very important don't depend on study material read standard books like akshmikant uh, paul dinian paul dinian akshmikant this will give you more knowledge uh, depending more on study materials will 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 not give you the exact uh, exact essence okay once we uh, once we cleared uh, the entrance examination for the remaining months will be taught or for the next one year the coaching will be there if you, if you clear the entrance examination here we will keep an entrance if you clear entrance examination you will come for offline the co- the syllabus will be same for both online and offline aspirants till uh, till uh, if you are take till june 2021 that means if you are taking prelims on june 2021 means you will both online aspirants will will have the same timeline of uh, course after 2021 the management will decide whether you can continue uh, based on your performance or uh, based on performance and the analysis they will they will make you to continue for another uh, one year or like that mm. they will decide on that but you will have the same coaching till uh, june 21 whatever you have uh, read in only sir you are are you providing notes or proper reference books uh, sorry i did not 
get you fatima sheik did not get you what you were asking uh, sir how to get this session recorded please explain abr ahmed abra rahmat how to get the session means for example you go to ioce class online portal there you find week one schedule in week one in day one you will see this orientation orientation tab you click this you click this it will it will open like a page like a small tab there you find after this session ended we will upload the recorded session there you can find it as a recorded session itself so no need to worry in every day we will upload this recorded session on that day itself okay so that you no need to worry if you have missed the live session sir will there be any engineering optional courses so fizan can the we, we are not sure that we will take engineering option because we said that we will have one option based on the popular demand if more people has demanded uh, civil engineering as an option means we will have that as an option okay and what about the books when we have to buy it uh, ruhaina khalifa you have to buy it immediately because if you start the preparation you should buy the standard books like ncert first uh, buy the ncert books and standard books for prelims comings so what are the subjects that are going to be taken in prelims paper 1 that you buy it as of uh, when as soon as possible so that you can prepare it uh, daily okay you can buy it now itself when when your class starts class starts from wednesday onwards as you given exam samples main sensor can be right like that flow chart or should be in sentence form also the approach should be in positive or negative approach um sabit ali uh, for mains you can give any uh, any you flow chart you can give diagrams as well as anything you can give no no issues your answer should be uh, very easy for the examiner to understand okay so what if you want to separate option other than the popular demand uh, for that we will discuss later don't worry we will discuss later what we can do uh, if you have want to have a, a separate option i uh, i live out of india i will relay on materials shared by you so please share online the study materials saji okay uh, if you are living uh, you are living out of india we will give you the soft copy we will let you know there are few websites for example ncert you have a website for ncert itself uh, you type it ncert you will have ncert books from where in that website you can you can download all your study materials my voice is breaking okay i don't know why it is breaking will you send any link for online classes see uh, this will be discussed by the uh, by the technical uh, team uh, technical team they will let you know how to access our portal that will be the session followed by me okay sir i will attend only the recorded session how can i attend the live chat question answer session so mohammed ibrahim live chat question answer will be at the end of in every day we'll have a live session a live chat session in the evening so if you if it is possible you can come to the session otherwise if you if you are if you are missing that session i don't know how uh, it will be uh, uh, that will be answered better uh, the technical team will answer that better i am not aware of that technical team will answer it better kindly provide the complete book list and also is it necessary to have hard copies of for all copies can we read efficiently efficient in soft copy sophia john uh, what i recommend is you you should definitely buy the standard books ncert and standard books this is very very needed whatever you are uh, taking as a hard copy that you can use it at any time depending entirely on soft copy that i won't advise because that is, that is not uh, that is not convenient for you to during examination so uh, by minimum number of books we are we are not asking you to buy a vast uh, books minimum number of books you keep it you raise it for multiple times you can take notes using one note or any software for taking newspaper notes so newspaper notes you can take it as a soft copy but take this books all ncert books or standard books so that you can write it you can read it and you can revise it okay evening class timing the chat box timing will be uh, will be sent uh, will be notified in a due course of time they will let you know sir can we interact with the staff during class by switching on our mic see uh, bonu this will be answered by the technical team uh, sir will answer sir is an is admission or closed admission is not at closed you can join it uh, you can join it so only we have given one day as buffer tomorrow there is no class so that if you are not joined you can take that okay so 
so the glegorous classes will start from wednesday onwards is it necessary to prepare from ncert books hard copy or can we download pdf files and make notes that is based upon your uh, your comfortable uh, your uh, uh, your wish but what i recommend is re, uh, buy ncert books this is very very important because if you buy ncert books means you can revise it for 10 times if you are continuously seeing your uh, monitor screen means you will get uh, you will get bored or you will not have uh, good vision so that what i recommend is uh, uh, buy some ncert books which is basic only and it will also cost less only it will uh, for entire ncert books it not cost more than 3000 2500 to 3000 rupees so uh, uh, it is a very good investment i would i would say Sir, I have attended demo classes, but not through the portal, but in Zoom directly. So it is not uploaded in my account. What can I do about it? Demo sessions, you can find it. Find it in YouTube. Adnan Khan. Uh, you can find it in YouTube. In our class YouTube channel, all the demo sessions are uploaded. Sir, which standard books please suggest? Absur Mullah. Uh, we will upload uh, material on the list of books. We will give you a. Uh, we will give you a PDF that contains all the list of standard books for your preparation. So, which standard books please suggest that that will we will give you it as a PDF itself. For weekly test, will you give 24 hour time limit as you give for assessment during demo session for test discussion or recorded videos available? Yes, uh, Sabit Ali, we will give you a recorded uh, session for the test discussion also. Um, but for weekly test, that will be discussed by the admin uh, whether we are going to give it for 24 hours or not. Do you plan to cover first the most important topics for upcoming prelims? So. Meraj, uh, we are not going to cover that for upcoming prelims. What we are plan is we are going to cover this for prelims 2021. We are not going to do it for uh, do it for the 2020 prelims. Okay, sir, bilingual lecture. So bilingual lecture, uh, Safra, uh, there will not be bilingual lecture. It will be only in English only. But if there is any need for to clarify your doubts. in future we may consider to have a special session on your uh, uh, mother uh, in your any other language other than english for example tamil or hindi or urdu but it is not in the uh, course uh, features we will have only in english but if there is a demand we will consider it sir can you please upload list of books like according to paper wise yes we will upload it in summum we will upload it soon uh, once the classes starts classes will take place in zoom only or any other platform classes will take place in only in zoom platform you can access that via our iyo portal that will be explained by the admin soon sir can we please upload list of books like according to the paper wise yes in some time i will upload it so please tell me important by hard copy and cd books just to read uh, fatima sheikh we will we will let you know we will we will give you the list of books soon okay mm. Mm, is it necessary to prepare for mold ncert uh, mohammed imran old ncert uh, what we suggest is history for history you can uh, depend on old ncert like ancient medieval and modern third is modern for these three books you can depend on old ncert otherwise other books you can directly depend on new ncert so it is very good is there any main many main topics which could be covered in this course Main topic will cover all main topic. Meraj, uh, we will cover all the main topic. Don't worry. One second, tell about evening session and morning session shortly. Jaina Bafrin, evening session. What you will have means evening you will have a chat session. That means whatever that is taught in the morning session that will be discussed in the evening session. If you have doubts in the uh, morning session, that will be taken in the evening session. This is called as evening session. Evening session you will have a chat, live chat. Okay, so in that. the research analyst will discuss with you the doubts you have in the uh, class which was taken in the morning session sir which compilation for kannada is good according to you uh, according to me you can uh, you can first you take uh, hindu newspaper you take your own notes that means through online notes don't take offline like uh, writing on paper or like that take it as online notes after that you can read any study materials for example there are lot of institutes vision is there insight is there Mm, Shankar is there. Everything is good, mm, but what you should means, uh, what you should do means, you should not skip reading newspaper. First, keep newspaper as your basic material. Yojana and Kurukshetra. After that, you go for compilation. Don't depend entirely on uh, compilations. Which book to buy immediately for Wednesday? Uh, Adnan Khan, uh, you first buy NCERT books. NCERT books is very important. Buy from sixth to tenth all NCERT books. 
that is science and social science science and social science social science means you have uh, geography civics economics like that whatever the sub subjects you are going to read that you have to uh, read it okay evening session timing that will be let you know by the uh, admin uh, will there be a mentor to interact other than the daily chat yes mentor will come mentoring session will be exclusively there will be mentoring session where retired uh, officers will come and they will guide you that we will plan and we will let you know everything to uh, in a mail or through message can we write exams online or want to class uh, sara mansur what you are asking can we write exams online or want to come in class i don't get you what you are saying for mains answer writing you have you have to write uh, it on um, uh, write it on your uh, paper and then upload it in the portal we will correct it and give you do you provide must reading topics from that day newspaper miraj uh, we will discuss this okay so we will discuss this uh, your suggestion we will discuss this and let you know says there any explanation classes for current affairs like we had in a foundation course yes yakub riaz every questions whatever you have uh, in your weekly test that will be discussed in the live session don't worry every question will be discussed detailedly in the live uh, discussion followed by the examination retired as well as in service officers as mentors yes abdul we have retired as well as in service officers so people who are clear recently all will also mentor you guide you for our mains examination sara uh, mansur yes for mains examination you have to write it in the online itself you no need to come for e class so you have to write in portal we have facilities in that facility you can write it and upload it you can upload your uh, answer paper we will correct it in the online uh, itself and then we'll give you okay retired as well as in service officers as mentors yes then is sure correct what if you want to a separate optional other than the popular demand haiba firos uh, for this we will discuss it in the mentoring session because we, we cannot provide all the uh, all the optional subject because we have 20 plus optional subjects we will guide you how to take uh, that option sir books for science and technology uh, don't worry abzul mullah uh, this will be discussed by the faculty every faculty will give you a list of subject list of uh, books you have to take for your preparation so every faculty will give it don't worry where i want to buy a notes notes you cannot buy you have to take it by yourself for example if you want ncert means you can take notes by yourself otherwise there are notes popular notes like nitin singhania notes for art and culture this will be available in our online uh, other uh, notes vajiram notes like that but if you feel comfortable to take notes by yourself that is very much recommended okay uh, i hope i have taken enough questions uh, now we request our technical team to take over the session 6th uh, standard to 10th standard only science and social science is enough to buy don't need subjects like english yes redmi you buy only for 6th to 10th standard you buy only science and social science books don't buy uh, english or uh, other languages language is not important as well as maths also you don't need to buy so i so sir i am sorry join late will this recording session will be shared later yes danish it will be recorded and you can find in the portal in today itself that will be uploaded don't worry sir if all faculty explain the breakdown of each subject syllabus it will be useful um asi bono every faculty will uh, will say it how they are going to cover it in the upcoming month so don't worry they will say it how they are going to cover what about the qualifying mains paper and so qualifying means paper that is only a qualifying nature you know you need to get only 25% of mark that is only a basic english for example if you are good in uh, sa paper if you are good in a csat paper two means obviously you can clear the basic qualifying paper english but for regional language for example tamil <laughs> tamil or urdu you have to read some news papers they will ask some basic question only don't worry much but you have to you have you, have, you should have a touch on that language 11th and 12th to social and science is enough uh, yes redmi 11th and 12th are social and science is enough but science you no need to buy uh, all books like physics chemistry and biology they have this is not needed because we are not go going to prepare for neat examination so this much science is not important for us uh, so buy for for 11th and 12th there is only specific books you have to buy that we will share in the pdf which will be uploaded in uh, within this week or when the course starts we will tell you what are the books which you have, which you have to buy it from 11th and 12th ncert okay
okay uh, for uh, there is a message from admin uh, so evening we will have a live discussions between 7 to 7:30 and 8 to 8:30 so that uh, after every live classes in evening we will have a chat live chat discussion that is between 7 to 7:30 pm and then 8 to 8:30 pm you will have two sessions okay sir today zoom link for upcoming classes or different see uh, how you have to take this course that will be discussed by the uh, technical team short while after my session uh, uh, technical team will let you know how you have to access the portal how you have to come to the online classes that will be known live class live classes yes every live classes will be recorded in mohammed ali khan don't worry every live classes will be recorded for optional second paper is there yes for optional ansu you have two papers for every optional whatever optional you are taking you will have you should write two papers so for that two papers you have to prepare it okay you have to syllabus detailed syllabus for that so i think uh, i have answered it enough now i request our technical team to take over the session uh, ashik lagi yes current affairs class you um, have a current affairs class uh thank you rafsal thanks for your uh, detailed explanation um uh, so if you don't mind thank i can uh, i can share my screen uh moment uh i hope my screen is visible to everyone good morning everyone and welcome again uh, to our uh, uh, online uh, course for uh, civil services examination and uh, uh, i will be the admin my name is abdul rahman i take care of the uh, technical aspects of our course and uh, uh, please do keep uh, your uh, questions coming in i'll try to answer as much as much as i can so i will give you a overview uh, to our the, the portal because uh, uh, since you need to be accustomed to the portal and its uh, various features to be able to use it effectively um, so our portal so our portal url uh, is uh, actually ioa.eclass.in this is our uh, student site portal url uh, we will call it a student portal and uh, Uh, you can also uh, access it through our main website eclass.in and then uh, click on the student login so uh, if you go to our uh, eclass.in main uh, you will have a link here you can visit here or you can actually go and type this uh, iwa.eclass.in and directly get it to our student portal and uh, you, everyone have to be registered and enrolled so there are two processes here so whoever has already enrolled must be doing this so uh, for for logging in you must be registered but uh, even if you have registered you will not have access to your course only after enrolling you will have access to your course so registration can be done by clicking on the uh, login button in the right side and uh, if you are a new user you can just click on the create new account but i'm not going to cover that so for existing users you can log in using your username and password or you can actually uh, if you have registered using your google account you can click that and uh, uh, authenticate yourself through google so that is possible both of it are possible so uh, but uh, if you have uh, forgotten your password so you can actually reset it by clicking the forgot username and password but you have to remember either your username or email to be able to uh reset your password so without that uh, you cannot reset your password so once you type in your email and you just say search the reset password will be email will be fired upon and you'll get such an email here or what you are seeing so you can click on this link and uh, uh, this this link is just valid for only 30 minutes and uh, you can click on the link and then reset your password uh, from our portal itself and uh, please do uh, note down our uh, contacts uh, like whatsapp and uh, uh, email uh, in case like even this doesn't work you 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 need some way to reach us so we will share those uh, uh, details at the end of end of the session 
So once you know your password, you can just log in. So this is a test user I created for this demo purpose. So and uh, now what you're seeing is the home page. Uh, right now we have all the promotional material for our course, but uh, the content of this page will be keep changing as and we have updates. And uh, right side you'll have a navigation pane where you can actually directly it will take you to the various uh, uh, areas of the uh, our portal. And uh, you'll also be listed with uh, several of the courses that is that are available here. And uh, for students who have uh, uh, registered, uh, we will be actually disabling uh, the rest of the course. I just enabled it for, for the only for the purpose of this demo. And uh, only the main course that we are talking about, class online course for competitive examination, will be uh, available. And you can also see the upcoming events. This is very useful. Uh, you can know like what is there next. So when is the next Zoom class? When is the next uh, uh, daily discussion chat uh, session? So you can actually click and directly go there. Or you can also go to the calendar to get a very detailed view. So what is there uh, in the future? So you can just see, uh, filter it by the course and then see like what is that scheduled for today? What is there for tomorrow? So you can just uh, view it in detail. So this is about the home page, and uh, let's go to the dashboard page. So dashboard will have an overview of the courses. So um, our course is this uh, a class course for competitive exams. And um, what you click this, it will take you to the course page. So remember, course page is the most important page where we'll be spending a lot of our time. Okay, and then. Um, we will also have a uh, few of uh, widgets. Uh, and uh, what we are seeing is a completion progress. This, uh, our course contains of many activities and all these activities that need a completion will be listed here. Not all activities will be listed, but uh, activities that need completion will be listed here. So some you can manually mark it as uh, completed, but some needs some condition to be completed. For example, if you take a, a quiz, uh, if it's a, uh, test, I mean, so we call it as a quiz here. So you remember a quiz, a test. So assessment or test is called quiz. So if it's a quiz, you have to get the passing mark, uh, passing score to uh, get this completed automatically. But uh, something like uh, daily Zoom classes and uh, the chat sessions, so, so whatever that is, doesn't have any pass criteria or condition to clear, you, can, you yourself can mark it as completed here. So as and when you complete, you, you, the progress will keep showing. So the completed items will be uh, showing as uh, green. And, uh, and the, something that, uh, that you haven't completed, it will be shown uh, in uh, red. And uh, upcoming activities in blue. So, so this is about the dashboard page. And uh, uh, whatever you saw in the, in the side, uh, side blocks uh, are uh, showing, shown here again, so like the upcoming events in calendar. Now moving up to the, we saw the events page. That's where the events will be listed. Now moving up to the most important uh, pages are the course page. So this is the main page of the course where all the course activities will be listed. And uh, I will uh, take you through each of the each one of the activities uh, uh, to to show you like how to access them, how to use them effectively. So. The first uh, one is uh, the forums. Uh, you see the uh, this icon is nothing but a forums. So we have a course notice board and announcement forums. And uh, we will create uh, new forums assignment for events like a test discussion or a general uh, thoughts or any any open discussion. So, that, so please use this effectively. And uh, I'll switch to the foundation course where we have an active forum uh, with a lot of discussions that you can see like how it looks uh, when we have our active. So this is the course discussion forum of our foundation course. So when you click that, like there'll be a lot of posts here. Okay. So you can just go ahead and post it and then you can just click and uh, you can read what has been said. So our tutors will respond here. So this is how tutors will respond to you here. So make use of it, make use of it effectively. Okay. And uh, and and uh, you, you, others can also pitch in, so the, your fellow students can pitch in. They can just clarify your uh, doubts, or just they can add to it. And the, the discussion could be of uh, regard to subjects, 
or it could be related to something else uh, some other aspects of the uh, of the course but uh, strictly keep it professional and only uh, to the course please do not discuss topics outside of the course and uh, please do not uh, uh, and also like the main thing uh, please uh, be polite that is, that is very uh, important please do not attack anyone please do not argue we are here to learn and there is no point in like uh, attacking or arguing this is not a online go uh, this is not a, uh, a, a facebook uh, a post this is not a youtube comment section you don't have to get emotional so so please uh, be polite and uh, use it effectively so that uh, we encourage everyone to come back again your 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 attitude should not discourage others to come and participate here. so please share knowledge and uh, uh, keep it professional okay that is the main rule of the course discussion forum and let me also uh, uh, tell you that all these discussions are being monitored by the admin by the tutors so whenever uh, uh, so if we see someone uh, misusing this uh, i'm sure like all all of you are like very st serious students and uh, and uh, but if there are some someone who's uh, misusing it or uh, not following the guidelines uh, we will definitely will have, will take strict action uh, that could also be uh, end up in expelling from the course so this is about the course forum and uh, next uh, what we have is uh, the closed blocks uh, what we are seeing here um, so I, i'm skipping these parts because this is these are not uh, the course completion skill certificate comes at the last so let's not bother about this right now and uh, these are just some uh, uh, other pages uh, so we will just only cover what is important because you are going to definitely learn as and when you start using it so what we are seeing is the course blocks uh, we will be creating one block for uh, each day so if you see our foundation course we have like a long list of blocks in fact we consolidated some of the blocks into weeks but still we have long list i'm sure our uh, uh, this course which is going to be year long will have you have going to have much more than this so um, you can access uh, the activities of the particular day um, by clicking on the box so and uh, before uh, each week uh, there will be a schedule published for the following week and you can click this and see like what is the what are the classes for the what are the classes for the following week and what is the topic all those is you can just get an idea and uh, also uh, most of the pages not every page most of the pages uh, particularly like uh, uh, you know, this schedules and uh, forums and uh, uh, there will be polls all those things will have a discussion below please feel free to use this and um, this discussion is actually linked to, to the forums we have here so when you type here it will also appear there so everybody can uh, collaborate and just feel free to ask your questions whenever you have and just uh, you can get your questions clarified uh, uh, over there and uh, about the uh, activities we call these these items as activities so uh let me let me tell you like what are the activities uh, that are there mm, so i can go here and then uh, so we have uh, forums i told you we have and then quizzes i'll cover you in detail and we'll have uh, resources resources is nothing but uh, things like our uh, course material in uh, soft copy uh, and then uh, the recorded videos so many people asked about repeatedly about recording videos yes recorded videos will be available and uh, mostly on the same day or in case like the following day so uh, each and every session even the, the session right now that's happening we will have a recorded uh, video uploaded to our uh, portal and you can come back and view see this is our foundation course even those recordings are available right now so you can always come back and watch and uh, course materials also you can just access it anytime okay uh, whenever there are materials from uh, uh, from the faculty we will post it here or any other materials we ourselves prefer we'll post it here you don't have to worry you can access it from here but uh, we cannot promise materials for 100% of all the course content uh, it depends upon faculty to faculty so uh, you'll have to keep it in mind so if there is a material available we will definitely be posting it here and uh, and this is the zoom link uh, it will appear here for uh, every day's uh, session 
so you can you can just click on this link so whenever uh, for let me show you in today's uh, course so so this is the orientation just so see you will have a, a, a zoom link here you can just click and uh, click on join meeting you know we, we, we won't be sharing any zoom links that's very important please keep in mind we won't be sharing any zoom links uh, except for the first week because the first week is actually open to all and uh, hence uh, uh, we will uh, be sharing for the very first week and uh, uh, for the following week onwards uh, once uh, everyone is uh, on track and everyone has enrolled we won't be sharing any zoom link all you have to do is just come inside and then uh, uh, click on the particular day and then uh, uh, access the zoom link yourself and then join the meeting okay now <clears throat> let me uh, give you a small uh, guidance for the zoom and uh, so in zoom always please keep your video and uh, audio also in mute okay there should be a mute button here So this also you need to keep in mute and uh, uh, never ever unmute yourself unless until asked by the uh, faculty or the whoever the moderator uh, uh, here. So uh, you'll have to um, because when you do that, it will be very disturbing for others uh, as well as the faculties. Um, but uh, the interaction you can always through, do through the chat box. You can always do to the chat box, and uh, we will definitely have one moderator from our side, uh, our research analyst or the tutors available to address your uh, questions during the uh, during the chat session. But please do keep in mind: not all faculties follow the same style. Okay, some faculties. Take questions at the beginning. Some faculties take questions during the uh, class session itself. Just while class is going, you can just keep firing up questions. Somebody likes that. But some faculties do not like to disturb during the class, and they will take questions only at the end of the class. So uh, these faculties will be communicating their style. Okay, and uh, request everyone to please follow that because. Uh, they, they they would like to take the class in their own style so that uh, it will be done very effectively so please do follow this but uh, uh, our faculties are very experienced and very good and uh, all of your questions will be uh, definitely answered uh, our faculties are like, uh, have gone so much so that they are demanding additional time just to clarify your questions so uh, it is not that they will not be uh, uh, there to explain it but they just need their uh, time to complete their uh, lecture so that they can take uh, questions after that. So please uh, find out the style of uh, each faculties and uh, adopt to it. So that is very important. So each one will let you know uh, before the class starts, and uh, as time goes on, you you, you can just uh, uh, you you will you will know like uh, who is uh, doing in which uh, uh, style. So you don't have to worry about that. And then. Uh, Okay, I covered the. I'll cover the quiz at the last, last because that that needs some explanation. And uh, what did I? Miss? Okay, and the important team members uh, apart from the uh, faculties, we have uh, IVO admin myself. Myself is actually my name is Abdul Rahman, and uh, we also have tutors, uh, Mr. Rafsal and Mr. Kathigayan. Mr. Rafsal is the one who spoke to you just before, and uh, and also we have uh, our admin uh, Arif. Uh, so he will take care of uh, uh, most of the non-teaching uh, related uh, administration activities, and I'll be taking care of uh, taking care of the technical issues. And uh, uh, Mr. Rafsal and Kathigayan will be uh, taking care of uh, uh, the uh, post-related academic related. Uh, uh, Academic related activities. So we also have a uh, few other people, but uh, uh, for uh, for these are the people who will be front ending. So if you want to contact anyone, you, you can contact these people. Okay, now going back to contacting them, how can you contact? Um, apart from WhatsApp, apart from 
uh, any other channel uh, i primarily recom- uh, recommend you to uh, contact us through the course discussion forums okay so please use the course discussion for uh, forums uh, to contact us uh, f- to raise any of the questions but if there is something that you want to a- ask one on one uh see this this discussion for of course you can, of course you can ask questions that you can ask in the open okay so uh, so if you think like uh, asking this question is open is fine then you can ask this because this is visible to everyone but if you want to ask ask uh, something one on one then you will have to click on the uh, messaging drawer here uh, is a top right uh, there are like two icons one is a notification icon one is the messaging drawer that you can just have to click okay and then you can search the people that i mentioned right now so you can you can just search for the tutors you can search for the admin or you can search for the uh, the non teaching activities uh, admin rfs so like so you just step ioa and search you can see like uh, these people and then uh, you can just uh, click on anyone say for example like admin you can just write a message hello admin i am having some issues with my device so something like that you can just write and send and uh, the admin will get this message and uh, the admin will respond so let me respond to as admin so if you just refresh the screen once admin responds so you will get the uh, uh, they will get a number here, number of 100 messages here you can see number 1 because admin has responded so you can just go here and read the response so like this you can contact uh, uh, anyone so if you want like contact rafsal so you can just go here and contact okay and then you know, if you want to like for some non uh, uh, technical or academic related activities like uh, you want to know like uh, when is the next zoom class or uh, what happened to your uh, uh, i mean uh, your uh, any other request you can always contact rf okay so uh, but uh, remember there is uh, no student to student communication so to respect everyone's uh, privacy and uh, also to keep the course professional we have disabled student to student communication if you search for any student you will you will only get this. so you can you cannot send message to the other students uh, if you want to like uh, ask anything you can always post it to the uh, course discussion forum uh, if you want to ask something open you can always post it to the forum but uh, we don't allow any private communication between students okay so now what else is there and uh, last but not least uh, i will take you through the uh, quiz uh, for this i'll be using the the old uh, previous uh, courses example uh, for showing you a quiz so quiz will be um, okay quiz will have this icon uh, so on obviously it will have the um, description as well so when you click it you will have the details of the quiz so what are the what are the timings and uh, what is the uh, how many number of questions are there uh, what is the mark for each question what are the grades that you can get and uh, which attempts will be uh, considered for uh, the grades and uh, how many attempts are allowed and then uh, and then then uh, uh, and, and what is the syllabus that is being covered uh, in this quiz and uh, how much time is there uh, for the quiz so like that uh, you'll have lot of uh, uh, information and you can actually click uh, the button here to attempt the quiz and uh, this is the this is the quiz interface and you can just uh, uh, go submit your uh, uh, answers 
okay and uh, once you, uh, you you can actually navigate both the ways you can just go to any questions and uh, you can come back to any question and uh, please remember we have only timed questions and your uh, time left how much time is left to complete the quiz is uh, will be shown here so after this you will be forced to submit and uh, once you complete uh, all your quests uh, you can just click on finish attempt ensure to click on finish attempt and uh, then you can actually say submit all and finish so now thus you have completed your uh, quiz attempts and once you have submitted you can always again it will you will be presented to review your uh, submission and uh, also um, you can just go back to the test and also if you want to like come back and review again when you go here you can show it will show your previous uh, uh, attempts and uh, what is the grade you have got so like i said you can see here that this quiz has been marked as uh, an, an, an X because you did not get a passing grade to com mark it as complete. I, I spoke about the completion progress. Now you can see so this is marked as X. So only uh, when you achieve the criteria mentioned uh, set by the, uh, the, the course, uh, uh, co uh, by the course, then when you only, only when you achieve that, you'll be able to uh, mark this as complete. Okay. Uh, but no need to fear. Uh, you 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 will st you can still proceed with the course, uh, but uh, uh, you you'll have to anyway uh, clear all these backlogs to get the course completion certificate. Okay, mm, and then uh, about about uh, some of some intuitive ways to analyze your uh, uh, quiz. I'll uh, I'll show you like how you can analyze. For this, I'm using the uh, the demo uh, quiz which has a very good uh, uh, set of data so when you enter the quiz you can click on the on the right side uh, this is where the quiz is there so this is where we took the attempt but on the right side in the navigation pane you can see something called the grades okay there you have three tabs overview report that gives overview of all the quizzes uh, all the courses that you attend and uh, how much grade you have aggregate grade and then uh, you have uh, user reports this gives the uh, reports for individual assessments but there is something called quiz analytics that that you can actually use it for uh, uh, analysis of your quiz so here all the quiz attempts will be shown so here like you have the one assessment uh, that that this student has taken two attempts and if you click on view analytics you can see some good number of graphs. Uh, so here I chose uh, uh, the number of right answers versus the number of questions attempt, attempted. And then it shows the progress. So how much mark you got on the first attempt, how much you got on the second attempt, and you can just see the improvement curve. And then what is the hardest question for you? So this is the total number of attempts uh, by, by everyone on the course. and. Uh, which is the unsuccessful number of unsuccessful attempts. So that means this is the toughest question, and uh, you can just click the question to actually show you what is the actual question. And uh, and please do note that uh, once the uh, quiz is over, you will be presented with the uh, explanation and uh, general uh, uh, details of the question. That after after the quiz is over, you can see this uh, where our tutors will feed in uh, explanation for each and every question. So that that will uh, give you a good uh, insight into the question and uh, this is uh, and there will be a snapshot of your attempt like what is the how much you left it un unattempted how much is correct and uh, partial how many questions are partially correct so so this is for the first attempt of the student this is for the second attempt of the student so you can just uh, uh, also get an overview there and uh, there is this question category analysis. So each test will have multiple uh, question categories. So this this was a quality question. So you have a, a so there were like uh, uh, these many uh, uh, questions from the preamble, and you can see like the the, the set three questions from Indian Constitution and five from uh, the Union Territory. So this you can know like uh, what was the uh, categories uh, that were there. And then what is the 
challenging categories for all users here you see like union territories was the toughest category for all users and what is the challenging categories for this particular student is actually indian constitution he found it very difficult so you can know so you can now compare so if the if the, the whole class is doing well in preamble um, and is uh, finding it difficult in uh, union territories but uh, you are finding union territories very easy but indian constitution is very difficult then this gives you some questions that you can raise with your uh, um, your uh, tutors and the mentors and get it uh, uh, clarified and then there is also this statistics so who got what many marks so uh, how many students got uh, 0 to 24 marks this is a demo quiz so many people did care to attend it so that's why like i say a huge number of uh, people in the 0 to 24 category but uh, there are also like some people scored between 28 to 32 so like that you can find categories like who are fall and which uh, uh, mark range and then uh, there is this question analysis um this graphs tells you about the correct questions and incorrect questions that you that is there in the course and um, uh, you can see like this question there's a lot lot of people have attended as uh, correct so this must be easy question but here you see this is a very tough question uh, very few people have given uh, correct answers but if you see the incorrect number of answers is very high and unattempted also very high so this is a tough question now uh, you can just click on and see like uh, what is the question and uh, again like you can uh, analyze on that so uh, this these things like what to do when you find out all these things definitely your uh, uh, tutors and your uh, uh, faculties or mentors will going to uh, will be telling you so i'm just giving you uh, the technical part of it and how to access this okay all right so i think uh, i covered uh, most um, and uh, and okay i missed one part so when you use the internal uh, messaging here uh, you will also get an email uh, and uh, uh, watch out for this tag ioa so this is the mess- this is the email from our portal so so even for password reset even for uh, for a uh, 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 the internal messaging that you raise that response and then uh, for a course discussion everything will come in as i o a so please watch out uh, uh, this section for uh, uh, these mails for uh, information from us okay and uh, i think i covered most so i will go to the uh, question and answers uh, questions that have been raised mm. so will there be any quiz uh, uh, on the daily basis or similar as foundation course uh, yes so about the attendance uh, many people have asked the attendance uh, we do have attendance but uh, since uh, uh, in the, in our foundation course what we used to do like uh, we will ask daily uh, a short uh, quiz that we call as flash quiz and uh, people who are uh, uh, attending that will only be uh, awarded the attendance uh but uh, here uh, we are working with the new faculties this is a new set of faculties and they have their new rules we are working with the faculties to find out so it should be cleared in uh, in two or three days but anyway for the first week uh, since it's open for all we are not uh, tracking any attendance so from next week onwards there will be some one way or the other to uh, some some way to track the attendance okay and uh, rifas ahmed has asked Uh, i'm using e class application it is better or not um, actually uh, uh, i i really didn't find the uh, the app the app that is available for uh, uh, our uh, portal uh, very encouraging you can do actually everything in the chrome browser itself uh, but if you are using app you find it uh, easy then please do uh, so so there is a uh, what this this software is actually called uh, moodle and there is a android app for that uh, you can actually download that and uh, install it uh, if you find it useful please feel free to use it and then uh, and then you can actually connect to our uh, portal from this app 
um uh, i we really don't have uh, we don't really recommend this or we don't really discourage this it's, it's fine to use this app it's up to you and then uh, so most of the pdf uh, uh, uh some of the most of the pdf are not available in foundation course so uh, actually uh, as i already said we do not post everything uh, as pdf so whatever uh, is required uh, whatever is not available uh, in the textbooks uh, in the standard textbooks only we post and uh, so you cannot expect everything as a uh, as a course material so so you cannot depend on entirely on the course materials being posted here so you uh, like uh, rafsal said you have to uh, use ncert books standard textbooks newspapers your own notes uh, uh, for preparation and uh, uh, please uh, for the foundation course members uh, who are here please do remem- uh, remember that uh, uh, the faculties of the uh, the current course uh, are very particular about uh, taking notes so this uh, this is going to be like a college lecture you'll have to follow their uh, uh, lectures very closely and take notes uh, so please be ready with your uh, pen and paper before entering the uh, daily classes okay attendance i covered it so who will be the lecturers uh, it's there on our right on our home page please do go and take a look we have very ex- excellent uh, experienced and eminent uh, uh lecturers from uh, all over india and uh, there is a whatsapp number uh okay so in case if you want to like uh, uh i mean none of these things are working or you are like totally offline and you want to contact by whatsapp so i request you to contact uh, this number 98406 please do note this number uh, this is our official uh, a class whatsapp so you can just send your whatsapp to this and uh, right now uh, we are being bogged with uh, lots of messages and requests for people who are trying to enroll to this course so right now the response may be delayed but uh, we'll ensure like by next week once every people uh, everyone has got on board and we have uh, once we have smooth classes then we will respond it much quicker Mm, lecturers i explain to you and uh, this uh, sir can you record and send me send it to us how to attend uh, attend quiz uh, this this recording whatever i showed you will be uh, available so you can just uh, watch that sir i have paid so and so as a course fee so fees related please uh, send uh, whatsapp to the above number i said and uh, so for uh, questions for quizzes will be prepared by respective faculty or by the uh, classes own uh, faculty it depends if it, it depends uh, some faculty they wish to give their own questions but uh, things like current affairs and uh, uh, things like uh, aptitude it doesn't really make sense to for the, the same faculty to give uh, the questions uh, so it, it depends upon the faculty and uh, whoever uh, wishes to give their own questions we will definitely give else we will we ourselves will prepare is there a time limit to attempt quiz every quiz has a time limit and uh, we will actually follow uh, the pattern of the uh, upsc uh, in terms of uh, uh, time limit for each questions and we do have negative marks and uh, we will we will have multiple attempts but only our first attempt will be considered for our grades so there is this is a limited uh, uh, this is a time limited quiz and uh, you, you will be you will be forced to submit at the end of the uh, time out uh, sir uh, shailia mohammad are asked sir shall we get feedback marks uh, uh, for descriptive answers yes you will you will get a feedback for the descriptive answers it will be corrected like a, a normal uh, descriptive answer paper and you will get a feedback yes uh no class tomorrow no class tomorrow tuesday is uh, tomorrow tuesday there is no class since uh, as i already said we are having uh, lots of requests uh, to enroll to this class and we are working through that so there is no class and wednesday we are having uh, our first uh, class okay okay then what if we have a college class 
so somebody has asked like what if uh, we we are having some other uh, uh, urgent work during the time um, of course you will be missing the class but uh, we do not really encourage you to miss the class because the 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 live interaction and the uh, and and the and the ability to take uh, ask questions really helps you so please do not miss the class but in case um, in a very extreme situation if you have missed the class then you, you can always access the recorded sessions that will be uploaded and as i already said we will try to upload on the same day or sometimes uh, due to some technical issues we may be uploading it the following day so we will try to maximum uh, adhere to this um then uh, the demo class faculty is yes, okay it's the same asked how about working okay, people okay i answered about the attendance and uh, mm, so somebody said that the pdf listed in the portal is throwing error we'll check it out so please uh, send whatsapp uh, i'll check it out on this um so during the class you enable us to ask doubts in uh, uh, public chat box so that uh, we can know what other student doubts on their thought process uh, no public chat box will be very irritating for several students we had uh, uh, we had uh, complaints from students uh, we do really do not encourage public chat box during class hours that uh, during zoom sessions but uh, whatever questions the faculty deem uh, uh, fit or whatever questions uh, uh that our uh, um uh, moderator who the our uh, own st uh, faculty uh, staffs uh, fit they will actually uh, put the question and answer in the public so you, you so this will actually filter out all the unnecessary chatter so uh, you you won't be missing anything mm Okay. Okay. So this is a very valid question. Uh, uh, so Yakub has asked, like, uh, for Friday session, uh, for people who are going to pay us, we'll have a, a problem. We'll definitely consider this, Yakub, and uh, we'll see what best we can do. And uh, what about you? so uh, afroz jaha has asked uh, whether we give any ha hard copy of the books i think rafsal has already answered that there will be no hard copy only soft copies of selected materials uh, which are available in standard ncert books or standard textbooks you will have to definitely buy it and follow that okay and then how so mohammad ali khan is asking how about working people attendance uh, see you will have to keep in mind that uh, this is a full time course so in case like uh, if there are some working people we really do encourage them to uh, attend the live classes and uh, see if they can adjust their work schedules uh, but uh, in case like if there are some any emergencies they will have to attend work then we will have to catch up through the uh, recorded sessions so i need i need uh, mohammad asis asik has asked i need to buy books where I, where can i buy it so uh, there is not 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 one particular store we can recommend but uh, uh, this is the, uh, the upsc books are uh, available in all book stores so uh, but if you want some recommendation on the books we will definitely provide mm -hmm. so is there any limits for the number of attempts yes there are limits for number of attempts uh, we will we, we have set uh, like 2 uh, uh, to 3 attempts uh, for quizzes and uh, we will uh, we will review this and uh, as the course progresses and we can add more or attempts uh, based on the uh, people's uh, performance and uh, request so will you list the weekly test toppers in the portal yes we will list the toppers uh, like you have seen in our uh, previous uh, foundation course the toppers of the last week test is still listed here these are our uh, toppers and uh, what is for wednesday this week uh, i think it is geography i don't know but i'll request uh, our admin to speak after this about the next class and uh, 
akhil has asked about the analytics i think like there are more important questions i can answer about the analytics akhil ahmed um, please do message me and uh, shelia has asked about uh, course fee shelia has request uh, to contact uh, our admin arif uh, for the course uh, regarding the course fee will the class time is be changed in the future no there is no such uh, plan we have frozen the uh, time slot but except for uh, uh, one brother who asked about the friday prayers time there is no plan uh, to change and then uh, what about the attendance i answer about attendance and then uh, sir i uh, somebody is asking sir please add overall ranking in grades so that we will have a sense of completion yes you can definitely access your overall grades as well so how much of the time gap will be the recorded classes and uploaded to the portal uh, probably by end of the day we will upload but uh, uh, failing which we will upload the following day but most probably uh, on an average we will be uploading it by uh 5 to 6 pm on the same day uh is the next class after this today no there is no next class today uh if necessary will you allow us to raise questions by your voice uh, sabit ali uh, that is very difficult because once you allow voice on a, such a huge crowd uh, it becomes confusion not just uh, during classes even it's a general uh, webinar uh, uh, rule that they do not allow voice for a large crowd crowd but uh, mentoring sessions when the crowd is less like uh, mentioned mentoring session we will have like four or five people there or sometimes one on one with the mentors then we will have a interactive uh, voice uh, over sessions that, that both both parties can speak so that we can do on when we have a less crowd will there be any offline quiz there are no offline quizzes uh ethics classes yes ethics classes classes will be covered so mohammad azim has asked will we be covered ethics yes we, it will be covered um uh, so uh jainab afrin has asked is there any benefit for the attendance uh yes uh in our foundation course we did refund uh, the course fee for the uh, people who have got attendance but uh, we will definitely uh, uh have a Uh, some kind of benefit for the attendance but it's not yet uh, uh, finalized for the uh, current course i was he uh so afroz jahas asked like uh, uh, the class timings was 9:30 earlier communicated but it's now 9 because uh, uh, we we thought like a uh, since the classes are longer for 2 hours we thought if a uh, half an hour break in between uh from 11 to 11:30 will help the students so that's why we have uh, reported to 9 o'clock so that we, now we will have a break from 11 to 11:30 so when will the test be conducted uh, test will be conducted uh, every saturday uh, the weekly test the monthly test uh, uh, schedule will be communicated um i think i've reached the end of questions uh, 